Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what process informed its previous decision to launch the deposit return scheme on the 16th of August 2023, including any input that it sought from industry regarding its readiness for that date. Minister Lorna Slater. The 16th of August 2023 launch date of Scotland's deposit return scheme was informed by a five-month assessment process. This accounted for the fi findings of the Gateway Review conducted in June 2021, independent advice, review of Circularity Scotland's implementation plans and feedback from a wide range of stakeholders. This launch date was announced in Parliament on the 14th of December 2021. Prime Minister. I thank the Minister for that response and she's been at pains to uh, assure us in here that this is an industry-led scheme. However, in a written submission by Circularity Scotland, they, they submit and say Circularity Scotland's advice to ministers had been that the most appropriate time to go live would be spring 2024. However, the government's preferred implementation, implementation date was 16th of August. Perhaps the minister would explain to the chamber and to the thousands of businesses struggling to get to grips with the shambles of a DRS scheme why she knew better than industry. Minister. Circularity Scotland was one of many stakeholders that were included in that assessment process, that five-month assessment process that I outlined. Those stakeholders included stakeholders that vociferously wanted us to continue to launch in 2022, those who wanted a short delay, as well as those who wanted a longer delay. I chose the 16th of August as a challenging but deliverable date for the industry. And as we have seen, many businesses were ready to go for the 16th of August date. That's why we have seen letters from businesses which are public and to myself and to the UK government asking us not to delay from the 16th of August. A supplementary, Sir Boyack. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Yesterday, Circularity Scotland told me that the launch date for the DRS on August the 16th, 2023, only allowed a few weeks for all stakeholders to test its implementation. So can the Minister tell me what consideration she's given to the period of time available to test the new DRS arrangements with the new launch date and how long that information will be available to industry so that they can test the implementation of the scheme in advance? Minister. Um, I thank the member very much for that question. It's, it's a really good question. Industry is still working in, in a lot of ways towards that August 16th date in terms of the speed of implementation has not, uh, has not slowed down. As I said in my earlier answer, that 16th of August launch date was always a challenging one for industry. It was absolutely deliverable, but it was a challenging one. What it did mean was that there was limited space for testing and, as we, as we know, very little space for contingency. Now that we have, from now until launch date, 10 months, that gives businesses not only more time to get ready, which has been welcomed by some businesses, but also a very uh, extensive window for thorough end-to-end -end testing of the system, which I know will help uh, ensure that customers have the best possible experience on the launch date. And supplementary, Morris Golden. Thank you, Deputy President Officer. Was the Minister working up a proposal to delay beyond August, whilst also assuring businesses their investment was going towards an August launch? Yes or no? Minister. Uh, as the, I'm a little bit confused by the member's question, but of course, with the delay to the UK government issuing an exclusion to the Internal Market Act, of course I was working with my officials on options as to how we would deal with this uncertainty to make sure that we would have a successful launch of a deposit return scheme. So I worked with officials to come up with different options, and what I recommended to the First Minister and he accepted was that we would go ahead and launch on March 1st next year. However, that uncertainty still remains, and until the UK government issues us with that exclusion, businesses in Scotland are facing that uncertainty, which is the last thing that they need. Yeah.